enzyme called FAAH, and it attacks this and breaks it down. So that, that neurotransmitter exists for a very short period of time. The cool part with CBD is it prevents the FAAH from attacking the neurotransmitter and breaking it down. So that neurotransmitter can now live longer and do its job. And as we get older, our neurotransmitters start to drop. It's called aging. <laughs> <laughs> and so what can we do is we can work to fight the aging process very simply by making sure these neurotransmitters are able to live longer and do their job more efficiently. Sounds like a good plan. So that's what you know about CBD, and it's wonderful, and it works really well. But let's go one step further. Where did the neurotransmitters come from? Ah, okay, now we have a problem. Because if you don't know where the neurotransmitters come from, you may not be producing enough neurotransmitters, so all the CBD oil in the world blocking the enzyme from breaking it down, you're still not going to get the effect you want. So we want to make sure you have plenty of neurotransmitters and block the enzyme from breaking it down, then the body works more efficiently. Let it be. Let it be so far. Okay. And there's two types, okay? There's phytocannabinoids, right? Come from what? Plants. And endocannabinoids, which come from what? Humans. In your body, right. I don't like the name. You know how we discovered it, right? We call it the, the cannabinoid system, you know how we call it that? Because when researchers were studying the effects of THC and CBD, they found this nervous system, this, this net network in the body. And they said, well, we're studying cannabis, so we'll call it cannabinoid. You want a picture with this? But the cannabinoid was already, already there. You don't need cannabinoids to, you don't need outside sources. You don't